Hello students, in this video let's discuss first problem of exercise 4.1 of principle of mathematical induction. So let's start. 1 plus 3 plus 3 squared plus all the way up to 3 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1 by 2. Here we have to prove that the given statement is true for all the natural numbers. So let the given statement be pn. In the first step what we do? We take the n term from left hand side and right hand side and we replace n by 1. From left hand side you can either choose the first term or the n term. I usually choose the n term from left hand side and right hand side. So let's put n is equals to 1. For, so that will be 3 raised to 1 minus 1 that is equals to 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So 3 raised to 1 minus 1 will be 0 that is equals to 2 by 2. So what we get is 1 is equals to 1. Therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side and therefore the pn is true for the first natural number. You need to write here the pn is true for first natural number. I forgot to write. In step 2, we assume that the given statement pn is true for n is equal to k. If the given statement is true for first natural number, we need to assume that given statement is true for other natural numbers also. So all the n's are replaced by k here also and here also and let this equation be 1 because we will be using in the third step. In the third step what we need to do we need to prove that pn is true for n is equals to k plus 1 also. So here all the k's are replaced by k plus 1 the k is replaced by k plus 1 minus 1 3 raised to k is replaced by k plus 1 and minus 1 whole divided by 2. So here plus 1 minus 1 cancels so what remains is 3 raised to k that is equals to 3 raised to k minus 1 divided by 2. Now see here when you look at the terms here 3 square 3 raised to 1 and 3 raised to 0. 3 raised to 0 is nothing but 1 isn't it that's why it is 1 here. So here the, uh, here the powers are in the decreasing order. So if there is 3 raised to k here obviously there will be a term 3 raised to k minus 1 preceding it for a shortcut. The term here in the pk, the last term of the pk will always be preceding here. So what we ultimately need to prove here is this whole left hand side is equals to right hand side. We need to solve this left hand side and we need to prove that it is equal to 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 whole divided by 2. So see here the whole terms here till 3 raised to k minus 1 is equals to 3 raised to k minus 1 divided by 2. See here this all the terms here and these terms are similar. So all these terms will be equals to 3 raised to k minus 1 by 2. So that's what I write here 3 raised to k minus 1 whole divided by 2 and not to forget this 3k. So when I take the LCM here I get 3 raised to k minus 1 plus 2 into 3 raised to k divided by 2. Next I rearrange the terms here so that I can take 3 raised to k common. 3 raised to k is common so what remains is 1 plus 2. 3 raised to k is already taken outside then what remains is minus 1 whole divided by 2. So now 3 raised to k 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 1 whole divided by 2. So here bases are same we can add the powers 3 raised to k and here 3 can also be written as 3 raised to 1 it is 1 and the same. So we can add the powers as the bases are same. So this will be 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 whole divided by 2. So this is what we were looking for 3 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 whole divided by 2. Therefore it is proved that this whole left hand side is equal to right hand side and hence p of k plus 1 is true whenever pk is true and by pmi pn is true for all the natural numbers. Thank you students if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below.